Done that before. Done that before. Mid recording. There's someone watching us. That's all right. Well, I'm just letting you know. We binge watched an entire series in two days. We were up until what half six this morning, and then we just finished season one. And I was like, right, we'll leave season two. And what did it do? It got even more interesting in season two. So we stayed up till about 10 to 7 in the morning watching it. And I'm not going to tell you what it was because then you can't spoil me. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying that we do tend to watch shows outside of reacting. We're starting this at 5 to midnight. Time is just a social construct to try and keep us down. I don't know about trying to keep us down, but time is definitely a social construct. Time doesn't mean anything in this house. We literally have no- Hello! <laughs> Hello. We have what? What do we have? We have no life and nowhere <laughs> to ever be. Yeah, we so do. We've got loads of things to do. Like what? Walk the dog, go to I the shop? I need to phone up Virgin Media. So I need to do. I mean, luckily the ASDA is twenty four hours because we might actually have to stick to we our schedule. We have to drive half an hour to get there. I know, and we usually go at like three in the morning, so it's good times, you know. I thought to myself that obviously it's getting lighter later just now. Thank the Lord, because winter is long and cold and horrible. However. I was like, okay, I'm going to get more time in the sun. But for some weird reason, my body has decided that, oh, it's getting lighter later, therefore I just sleep. And then I still only get half an hour before the sun goes down. <laughs> Why? Why? Because you're lazy. It's not lazy, though. You're lazy. Because I still, I just stay up later. So therefore, I still get the same amount of time. Asleep, which is like 12 hours. <laughs> I only slept for eight hours last night. And there was some idiot at 10 past eight in the morning that decides to start hammering on a Sunday. You probably sleep for less time if your sleep wasn't so broken due to the fact that you go to bed too late. Yeah, and I have alarms. You know, things happen in the night that I need to be. T I need to check if my chickens are okay. I need, uh, yeah. So things happen that I need to get up for and then go back to bed, and it just like wrecks your sleep schedule. Breaking bad. The guy blew someone up last yeah. episode. Well, no, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't blow him up. He blew up the place. Just because he, just because the guy didn't die, doesn't mean he wasn't blown up. Well, he didn't die, so therefore he wasn't blown up. Well, what level constitutes as being blown up? What if an arm comes off? Is that blown up? Did he die? No. Well, I don't know. The rules change. So if you blow someone's arm off, is that yeah. blowing them up or is that just blowing their arm off? That's just blowing their arm off. Do you think that Wendy... Hink. ...could blow... <laughs> Do you think... <laughs> the Scottish is coming out. Do you think that Wendy could give such a phenomenal Wendy... That it blew someone's arm. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's Wendy? The, the meth whore. Oh. Remember you was like, oh. I thought know. you were trying to be funny with some weird alliteration of like, Wendy, Wendy, Weatherhall or something. I don't know. Weatherhall? Looking <laughs> bad. The finale. The full finale. The season one finale. Oh, season one. We have actually got through this so fast. Skip what, you mean it's not been like four had, years? Yeah, I mean, skip the fact that it only had seven episodes, but like, we've it's actually... Only seven. Yeah. <laughs> that, that came up as solo levelling, which is what you were doing last time, and I was like, wait, we ain't watch. Why did solo levelling say about meth? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so well, you was... haven't watched the show. So. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, she was watching solo levelling before this. I do me like some solo levelling. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much for 25,000 of you amazing coupons. No, they're not yes. coupons. Is that all, all we're at, 25,000? Yeah. And before anyone says, that, that's racist. Kupo is what they say, the Moogles say. Thank Why you so much, Kupo. Be because people just like to throw the R word around. 
Oh my god, someone had a big rant about the yellow man being they racist. Did. So apparently we can't say that anymore. So I bet it was it's... I bet it was a middle class white woman from the suburbs of <laughs> Philadelphia. Well, if we can't say the Y word anymore, we can't say yellow because that's terrible. What are we gonna call the the limited ads person? <laughs> the um. I mean, just... Magnolia Man. <laughs> Sake. That also sounds like it would offend someone. The Magnolia I just, man. I can't deal with the internet. Do you know what's difficult? Life. Any, anytime I go to say Magnolia because of you, I now think mahogany. <laughs> Every time I... she goes to say Magnolia, she goes mahogany. <laughs> Look, can I get some mahogany paint in here? Like, you want ma- like what, a deep ready brown? <laughs> Strange. Well, that's kind of what we put on the wall anyway last time. No. Yeah, we painted the wall like three times and all the colours were stupid. Yeah, but that's closer to mahogany then. That's purple. The door, I mean. Oh. Bring bad. Meh. Sorry, I thought I just like vomed a wee bit. Tablet time. Good time, Ento. You saw nothing. I feel like your intro game's off. <laughs> Stopping the manufacture and sale of methamphetamines remains one of our highest priorities. And the theft of lab equipment from your school is also receiving our highest attention. Rest assured, no stone will go unturned in our search for the person or persons responsible for this. How do you know that they were stealing the lab equipment to make meth? I know. It's not very nice. What about the janitor that was dealing drugs at the school? There is no indication that this individual was selling drugs. He was arrested for having a small amount of marijuana in his car, not in the school. And he's since been fired. Because that's what you should get fired for. Why wasn't there a background check? Oh God, I can't there be dealing with parents, they annoy me. We're currently reviewing our hiring policies. You better be doing more than that. I'd be the parent and now it's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> I, mean, I know God. Children. Whoever took it had a key. We're talking inside job. Someone who's still at the school. Oh, Sir, at this well, time, I'm not to discuss. <laughs> I'd be like, what are you doing? I'm sorry, officer, but that just sounds like double talk. We're trying to protect our children. You have to. Oh, dude. Really, we are giving you all the information we have. You know what I like to see in this school? Drug sniffing dogs. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm not- I wasn't listening to him. You want drug dogs and metal detectors in your school? That's crazy! With drugs. This is actually <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> She's like, no one ask me a question, please. Yeah, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the mental side as to why he's doing this. Do you think it's taking his mind off the fact that he's the guilty one in the room? I don't know, man. Maybe he's just like... Let's go down and put all these people and they'll never know. Hello! Yep! <laughs> Mr. White is currently on medical leave, but as he's chair of the science department, he's making. <laughs> <a very laughs> She's special like, what the hell's going on here? And I'd like to take a moment to thank him for that. Yeah! Yeah! Thank, yeah, thank, thank me. Yep. <clears throat> what have I done? The inventory list for the missing labware is as follows. One 5,000 milliliter round bottom boiling flask. We like those 5,000 milliliter round bottom boiling flasks. Jesse does. Some, some oh, dude! Well, uh, they didn't some exactly get home, did they? Older. Oh. <laughs> it's just, again, GTA up in here. GTA, mother... <laughs> Where did that come from? My loins. Because it was illegal. Oh. The illegal stuff starting to turn him on a little bit, you know? That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, like, he's the one in the room, like, I know what's going on here. And it's kind of like that bad thing where it's like, what else can I get away with? Do you know what I mean? It's like that kind of... She touched my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's how I was trying to think about it just then. Mm. You know, it's the thrill, kind of. What wouldn't, else? Wouldn't know anything about that. Uh. I'm a very good boy. He, just, he always does good things. The basement. 
unfinished, of course, but just look at all this space. You gotta think rec room, media room. Oh, Jesse's selling his house. I wonder why. I mean, nothing ever goes on there. Big lawns and shade trees, walking distance to the country club. <laughs> oh God, but sticky on the floor there. What happened there? Body fell through Bit the roof. Of a fixer. But this house has great bones. Just needs a bit of a plaster on the ceiling. You think they would have sorted the floor and the, the ceiling? It's by appointment only. Oh, I'm, I'm here to see the owner. Oh, he's in the um, recreational vehicle. His name is Harvey, okay? Say his name. Put some respect on it. Yo, it's appointment only. <laughs> Where'd you get that from, the woman? <laughs> <laughs> you think you to put some duct tape over the bullet holes? I was actually going to say that. Jeez, you look like Lex Luthor. <laughs> Listen, I, I visit. There's so worse people to be compared to. Especially if it's uh, Michael Rosenbaum. So, what are you selling your house? I got two dudes that turned into raspberry slush and flushed down my toilet. <laughs> I can't even take a proper dump in there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you, mate. I bet it still kind of stinks in there as well. You didn't actually go see Tuco. Never get the smell of dead body out of your floors. That is 17.5. Your half of the 35,000. Plus, there's an extra 15 in there. It's all yours. You've earned it. Oh, I actually gave him the 15. So Tuco gave you this, is what you're saying? Well, we made a deal. You made a deal? <laughs> And blew him up. <laughs> How, why would you make a deal with that scumbag? Well, that's what you went there to do. Take a look at the money in your hand. Now, just imagine making that every week. Also, keep your voice down. They're not it's well not, insulated. Yeah, it's not sound insulated. 200 miles each way to meet up with my Smurfs. Smurfs. The dudes who go to the drugstores and get a couple boxes at a time and then sell them to me. And they're about that size and a blue and wear white hats. Uh, have their own See, TV show. that's the bottleneck show. in your uh, brilliant business plan. All right. Of course, you would have known that if you would have just asked me. You were unconscious in the hospital. Did you a favor? Figure something out. Skyler, you look great. Thank you. You must be, what, six, seven months? Flat, you'll get you everywhere. It's great. Um, other than waddling to the bathroom every five minutes. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'd do that anyway, and I'm not pregnant, so... I can relate. Well, Walt, I see you've committed to the hair loss. Mm, yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? He seems so much more positive just now. I guess money will do that to you. I'm his his I'm color up. is better. You know, his energy. And uh, he's even more um, physical. More physical. Why was that necessary to say? Sexual. Because it's, 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 it's a change. Frisky, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be a good sign, right? He's a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't there anything else we could be doing? Well, I, I've been wondering about alternative medicine. What mushrooms? You know, holistic. Well, I can't speak to its efficacy, but as long as it doesn't interfere with that treatment, anything that helps my patient have a better outlook, a better comfort, is fine by me. Hardcore drugs. <laughs> but man. Having a better outlook can make a tremendous difference. But it's also important that we manage our expectations. Never underestimate the power of the placebo effect. Which is? When you take something that, that on paper, like chemically would do nothing for you, but your brain can make it do things. You know, the brain is actually mental when you think about it. Like when they're like, the positive <laughs> of mindfulness what? and all that. Yeah, sorry, I just love his outfit. I don't see it as an outfit. It's more a way of life. Half the deals I've ever done went down at Taco Cabeza. Nice and public, open 24 hours. Nobody's gonna shoot you in the middle of a Taco, Taco Cabeza. Cabeza. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I just said no. Why not the mall? No, no, shootouts always go down at the mall. You can't trust that. Skip the part where psycho lunatic Tuco, you know, comes and steals my drugs and leaves me bleeding to death. I don't think he'll do that this time. Something tells me he's uh, either scared or respects Walt now. 
Uh, sorry, Heisenberg. Look, you don't have to be here for this. Okay, I mean seriously. Look at me so freaked out. If only you were there, man. Do you think it's crazy though that he's freaked out and Walt's now the stone cold killer? I'm good. Oh, crunching. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do it that way. I can't way. even bend my fingers. I can do it that way, but I can't do it that way. Don't click your fingies, you'll get arthritis. Ah, it is a wife still. That's what my mom told me. Yeah, and your mother's a wife. It's just popping the bubbles in the synovial fluid. That's what it is when you crack. I'm sorry that I had to tune you up. Respect that, so you gotta give it to get it. Uh. I mean, what Walt definitely what gave it here? to you. Yeah. What, they closed the wall or something? <laughs> Heisenberg, come on, break it out. Has he told him that that's his name? Because Jesse's like, what? That's, that's all you got? We had some production problems. 0.53. Wow. You told me two pounds, and now you waste my time with these chiclets? I wrote Smurfs. Uh, I got stopped from getting a pseudo. 17 and a half. Minus the half for wasting my time. Hey, come on. What? You're gonna argue? You got something to say? He's got a point. You didn't make him drive out to scrapyard. I want all of it. <laughs> Jesse's like, are you trying to get us killed? What did you say? You like this product. And you want more. Consider it a capital investment. <laughs> oh! There's too much big energy here. 52 and a half, 25 points big. Big? Interest weekly. That wasn't part of the deal. That's why it's called negotiating, honey. The deal changes. 1.875 pounds. No, two pounds next Friday and no production problems. Can you handle four pounds? So <laughs> ah, Jesse's like, are you toying with me? Do you want your stuff or not? Because if you start to behave like a baby, you'll get treated like a baby. What? That's what I'd say. Lay up. Lay up. Yeah, do you want your arms? I know you look. <laughs> I'll get windy to give you a windy to blow off your arms. It's all right, Jesse. Don't even worry about it. It just went into debt with him for. Not going to need pseudoephedrine. We're going to make phenyl acetone in a tube furnace, and we're going to use reductive amination to yield methamphetamine. Four pounds. So no pseudo. No pseudo. Well, at least Walt's not working just now. We've got all the time in the world yeah, to get this done. Yes, yeah, science. Yeah, science. Uh, getting some of those items may be challenging. One auto transformer, six liters, and hyd hydrous metham methamine. He can't even say half of them, Walt. Why is he gonna go get them? 40 grams thorium nitrate. Yo, Mr. White, I can't even pronounce half this. <laughs> All right, I'm leaving town. I'm moving to like Oregon or something. This is Jesse, just... Jesse, Jesse, listen to me. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Oh. As a drug dealer. But what kind of life will it be, huh? Will it be a life of, of fear, of, oh, no, 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 I can't do this, of never once believing in yourself? Hmm? I don't know. Oh, this is the talk that Jesse needed when he was a kid. I'm sure this isn't what Walt said to him when he was a kid. No. You know, I feel like being a drug dealer has really made Walt become a better person. Maybe that's what we should do. Hi, baby. I'm your Aunt Marie. Now, of course, you already know that because when you watch this 20 years from now, I will look exactly the same as I do now. I know it is amazing. I have aged shockingly well, haven't I? I know what you're thinking. You were like, that's what Lou would do as well. <laughs> it's so rude. Now, that is your wonderful, handsome older brother. Show her older brother your face. Not right up the nose. <laughs> this your mommy. Hello, mommy. And look, there you are, Esmeralda. Wake up, baby. 
Esmeralda, please not. Glad you can tell which one's drinking. <laughs> and I believe, Hank, that that was around the time that we took Aunt Marie to the insane asylum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh, I dropped her off at the curb, uh, then I uh, married Shania Twain and uh, lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> What is Shania Twain though? Daddy. I like that she's making a comeback just now as well, <laughs> so it's all relevant. Comeback? She never left. Ollie, I am very proud of you. And uh, I think about you all the time. This one's really sad because you might not even be around, you know? Wherever you go, whatever you do in life, um, always know that you have a family who loves you very, very much. We love you, Walt. We love you. We love you, drug dealing man. That's so irrelevant. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's adorable. I love it, Carmen. Thank you. You're so welcome, honey. Thank you. I hate getting presents and then people watch you, man. See, when it's Christmas, I let everyone else open up. Marie always finds the best wrapping paper. I do. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, I, I try and open my presents away from everybody else. Gucci. It's... It's a... It's a baby tiara. It's white gold and several carats worth of zircons. Oh, Marie, you, you spent too much on this. You shouldn't have. No, I should not. But it's so... It's really... It's... Sparkly. <laughs> Sparkly! Green blue! <laughs> We've all been there when someone gets a present they didn't yeah, think stronger than beer. It's just I got some meth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's sitting there going, wait, how much did that cost? Do you know what I mean? Because he's not gonna think that she stole it, surely. He probably doesn't care. He's probably making a decent amount of money. It's my stuff. It is, isn't it? I got uh just a thing to go with that. Yo. Don't you have a cigar somewhere? I'm sure yeah, someone some cigars, yeah. gave you some cigars. People used to send me cigars all the time at the P.O. Box. Nobody's sending me cigars to P.O. Box anymore. Hank, I've already got lung cancer. Okay. Well, you, you might as well have a cigar then. Well, that's what he was saying. Hank, Hank was like, well, you should have bit that. I mean, I've never had a cigar, but like as a woman, I feel like I look at it and I'm like, I don't get it. It's just like yeah, you're you smoking a big sausage. <laughs> now, these were illegal. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest, doesn't it? What do you mean, doesn't it? What do you know? <laughs> what do you know? What line is that? Well, what's legal, what's illegal? <laughs> you know, Cuban cigars, alcohol. Meth, you know. If we were drinking this in 1930, we'd be breaking the law. Another year, we'd be okay. Same with the weed that the guy got sacked for. Who knows what will be legal next year. Definitely not crystal meth though. I don't know where you're going with that. Should be all. Like pot or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Cocaine? Heroin? Mm hmm yeah. Cocaine's legal, is it not, in some places? Um, um, no, not even in Colombia. <laughs> just that everyone's got it, which makes it feel legal. <laughs> From now, do stuff that's legal that shouldn't be. I mean, friggin' meth used to be legal. Used to Did it? I didn't know that. Cocaine used to be legal. Yeah. You'd be a pink came to senses on that one, huh? Oh, yeah, totally. Meth is disgusting, right? I mean, yeah. it is. <laughs> We watched a documentary actually about people that were taking meth. Was it meth? Oh, the one in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. and like yeah. what it done to them and how it ruined their lives and. A tiara. A white gold tiara for a newborn baby. Yeah, she's a bit of a loony. You know, I think she got that at Gertrude Zachary's in Knob Hill. I mean, that thing must have cost like what, five or six hundred dollars? Yeah, and she'll like grow it in like what two months? I, mean, I think I'm gonna return it. Uh oh, you sure? She's oh no! Oh my god, she's gonna return it and be like, "Oh, thank you so much. That was stolen. Oh, you're amazing." Or they'll think that she stole it. Mm. They do this 
Navajo sweat lodge up by Farmington. Healing ceremony. It's supposed to be good for your lungs. And I'm not saying that I believe in it, but... Uh, hmm. Worth a try. Be an experience. He really is acting a lot happier. You yeah, know. Driving up on Friday, coming back Sunday. I mean, if you're okay with it. Well, of course I'm okay with that. Oh. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excuse to cook back. Yeah, of course, when you actually realize what it is. Oh, he's so much happier and he's really so getting into this. No. No, he's not. Sweaty. Help me out. <laughs> oh, wow. Go, Jesse. Oh. This is excellent. Very good work. Abstract. Okay, hydrogen. Not like a place to keep your dildo in. Yes. If you want a really hot dildo. <laughs> Well, half this crap I could just buy, right? But this methyl mine, not so easy. I mean, they got to lock down tight. Well, it's a precursor. But they want 10 grand. So what's the problem? You have the money. No, had. I already spent almost the whole wad. I mean, I got like two grand left. I told you all this crap was expensive. All right, good Lord. I thought what? he meant he was like, yeah, I was out drinking and I spent the load. A chemical supply place south of town. They got guards and security cameras. They got steel doors. That's why these dudes are Sounds charging like a lot so of fun much. to me. Why? Why don't we go and rob it? Save ourselves 10 grand. So why don't we just steal it ourselves? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How are we going to do that? I just love the Walt's the Good one question. that's like, yeah, let's go crazy. And Jesse's like, nah, man. He wants to move out, start a new life. What's an etch sketches that they're going to use? I don't even know what that stuff is. Is it like magnetite? Thermite. And that will cut through a lock. Because this is supposed to be one big lock. The Gustav was capable of firing a seven ton shell and hitting a target accurately 23 miles away. What? You drop a commando? One man with just a bag of this. And you'll and blow them up. Right through four inches of solid steel and destroy that gun forever. It was very easy to make thermite. Is it? Yeah, it's just iron oxide and aluminium powder. And then you get a wee strip of magnesium and you light magnesium and that gets hot enough to ignite the thermite. I think we should start exploding some stuff on this channel. <laughs> that can be our new intros. This. That's very nice. Uh oh. Uh, do you happen to have a receipt? Um, no, I don't. It was a gift. Aha, uh -huh, a gift. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Wilson, could you step over here, please? Oh my God. I'd like you to watch this lady while I phone the police. Ah! Ma'am, this item is stolen, as I'm sure you know. It Come with me, please. How Do you know? think she would honestly go back in there with a stolen item? I know. Like, really? Check your CCTV. And I can tell them how my daughter-in-law remembers showing this particular item to a tall blonde woman who, when her back was turned, walked right out the door with it. So there. Oh, yeah? Well, then I can talk to the Channel 3 News. <laughs> oh, full gun! Illegally detained and innocent, pregnant woman in a dank storeroom. This is my office. I feel I'm- Yeah, it's <laughs> dank and it's horrible. Furthermore, I'm not getting enough air back here. <laughs> She's great. Oh my God, oh no. I'm going into labor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Get this woman out of here. Marie? <laughs> I have reached Marie. Do the beep thing. <laughs> Do the beep thing. I need to talk to you immediately. That's what you get for trying to return a gift. Well, yeah, that's the issue, isn't it? It's like you tried to return it, you stole it. <laughs> also, you usually have to return stuff with a receipt. Yeah. Why is she stealing all the time, though? Like. She has a man that makes good money. I don't get it. Go to another store. This is just the same as uh, as Walt shagging Skyler in the car, because it's illegal. It's fun. It's the thrill of it all. Yep. Since when is shagging in your car illegal? What do you mean? Well, it's my car. <laughs> yeah, but the windows. 
Then don't look in. <laughs> it's your fault for looking. Exactly. Like, what the hell? How do people do that in just, just abandoned parks? For people to look in. Yeah. Actually, is that a thing in the States? It's, I was going to say it's a big thing over here. But it's called dogging. When he goes in, though, push him over. Just lock it. And put the, the door face down. Oh, I've no. done this before. Oh, yeah, like... yeah I, I was playing this video game one time and that was the thing. I'm surprised it's not on the porn in there. I love his hat. <laughs> it's like the least terrifying burglar style thing you've ever seen. I don't know, that would be quite, quite frightened. Because you know if someone's wearing a hat like that to go and do a burglary, they do not give a f Oh, you like my pom-pom? <laughs> Is this gonna be loud? We'll find out in about 10 seconds. Stand back. There's an alarm. Oh, wow. Okay, go back a bit more. That doesn't explode. Well, you don't know that. And of course there There's was an, an alarm. alarm. <laughs> Not like he can do it in a better. Oh wow. Well, think I don't so know those doors place. are just like flimsy plastic you'd be able to like I squeeze mean, kick your way it out. In. Yeah. Let's just take this, come on. Come on! Wait, he thought they were jugs? What the hell are you doing opening the door? How are you taking the thing out? <laughs> <laughs> come on guys, teamwork! They don't just have a pallet jack, you just take a pallet of it out. I think it's on a pallet. Oh, well, there was four of them on a pallet. And why didn't you drive closer to... <laughs> Just roll it! <laughs> Bunch of idiots, man. It's all for the thrill of it. Well, I mean, just saved them ten grand. Well, true. Well, they are making a decent amount of money. They didn't have to do that, but... Come on, let me try it. How is it going to be any different? Can I just try it? Fine, fine. Go ahead. Jesus. Go ahead. Okay. You have to talk to Harvey. You got to sweet talk it. Got to rub him just Come right. Come on now. If he snuck up on him. <laughs> yeah, baby. See? It's all about this sweet talk. I'm the king. I'm the king. Oh. Oh no, it's out of fuel. No, when was it last like, had its surface? We're not cooking in my damn driveway, I tell you that. What's wrong? Figure out what's wrong with it. It's rocket sign. Oh. So you're happy I roll it down the stairs like that, but you wouldn't roll it from the place. <laughs> See if that just burst open, you'd be. I would laugh. Real quite estate hard, agent. When is she supposed to come back? Yeah. I don't know. I make damn sure she does it. For goodness sakes, I bet you got a show in today call, as well. Yeah. Hey, I've decided not to sell the place. Oh, for What a phone. Listen, those LGs were the thing back then. I always wanted one. Oh no. Is she doing a massive house show in? An open house. Yeah, oh, for goodness so. sakes. Um, yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You're just not allowed to go into the basement. But then surely she's right outside your house. So go upstairs and have a look. Four and a half. Not four? Two pounds pays to go back. Four and a half pounds puts us $44,000 ahead. Wow. With the amount of methylamine that we got last night, we can make four and a half pounds a week for... Well, for the foreseeable future. How long is uh, that gonna be? Till I die, basically. That's what he's asking, though. How long is it until he well, dies? Well, I mean, how long is a piece of string? <laughs> more. More. Feed me more. Oh my god, it's like, so why are there people outside? Shh. It's okay, luckily it doesn't stink. But it doesn't look like it's as exothermic as the previous one. It looks like it's a different way. Maybe you could just be like, we're doing a chemistry experiment down here. I thought you didn't like that. Ah! <laughs> Kid. 
You saw nothing. There's a creepy man in the basement. I left a message, man. It's not my fault. I don't care how you do it. Just keep them out of here. Do you understand? Yeah. Right, go. Just lock up. <sighs> Just barricade the door so they can't get in. Yeah, they'll eventually leave. Oh, this is not gonna go down well. Oh, what are you stealing now? I can't believe that you called it as well with her. It's such a thing though, with like, middle class women, you know especially like stay at home moms. What? Shoplifting. That tear up. They accused me at Zachary's of shoplifting it. What were you doing at Zachary's? <sighs> I was taking it back because it's horrible. She's not even blonde. Why would you return it? It just was Marie. Don't you dare try and spin this bag. Can you tell me why you do such a thing? It's called deny and deflect. What does that mean? Does that mean you don't know? That means that I have no idea what the hell you're even talking about. Oh, oh God. <laughs> of course. Let me see your bag. See, deny and deflect, deny and deflect. You're not going to admit this, are you? I can't really admit to something when I have no knowledge of what it is that I'm admitting. First thing that I learned in law school was that if you ever get caught shoplifting, always deny it because it's too much paperwork. That is not legal advice. Imagine lying to your sister like that though. Imagine giving an expensive thing at your sister's baby shower in front of everyone as well and it's nicked. Well, I mean, it's all right. It's, it's, as long as you tell her it's nicked, please don't take this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what the smell is. Funny thing is, a bit like most of these chemicals you can just get off Amazon. Excuse me, I'd just like to see the basement. It was occupied. It's not a bathroom. Hey! I just want to see the basement. Piss off, he says it's occupied. I've seen the basement. You got that? Is that sticking in? Now beat it. All you all, house is not for sale. Get the hell out. <laughs> you ain't seen the basement. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the dead bodies are. That was a sweat to lodge. I think he's ridiculous to be trying to sell that and he's not like done it up or anything like that. I just think it's so stupid. If you are worried about taking a crap, go do it outside. I mean, he's got enough money, you know, to get, like, a painter decorator in the Yeah, store, like. plaster, you know. Mm. Mm, do you smell? What's that smell? Oh. It's my new cologne. It's just the Sacred stuff that they use. Navajo herbs. Mm. I'll go for a shower, because you stink! I'm gonna get high on your scent. Everything okay? No. Not really. They're all up to shenanigans. You know that uh, tiara that Marie gave us? <laughs> well, she I stole know. it. Yeah. I practically got arrested trying to return it at the store. <laughs> <laughs> no practically about it. <laughs> she refuses to apologize. I, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Well, it's like, oh. People sometimes do things for their families. She's not doing it for her family, People though. Do things for she family. does it for herself. Oh, yeah. And what, that justifies stealing? Did you see that in Glasgow, because of the increased price of potato scones, there was a, a protest group that stole a load of potato scones <laughs> from Tesco and put them in a trolley on George Square? What? <laughs> free, giving people free potato scones? <laughs> If it were me, what would you do? Would you divorce me? Would you turn me into the police? Yeah, what would you do if he was stealing potato scones? Or tiaras. You don't want to find out. No, oh. but I do though, I want to know. Maybe she'd be so turned on that she'd ride his dong along all night long. Yeah, my meth husband. Stealing potato scones. 
I don't think she'd be into that. Nah. She's very straight laced, isn't she? No, thanks. Well, you're in too deep now. And he's trying to keep. Oh. It's blue. Maybe blue, but it's a bomb. <laughs> he's also... like, it's not that same. Is it that explodes? There's also a USP. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he's enjoying himself. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. 4.6. Jesus, nearly five. Now, what did I say, man? This guy can cook. So you got the extra. Just remember who you're working for. Uh oh. What did you say? I know, keep your mouth shut, man. They gotta know that they're working for you. Like they don't already know that? Are you saying that they're stupid? No, I'm just... You're stupid for opening your gob. So you're not saying that they're stupid. It pays you to hold the gun. Are you okay. saying that I'm stupid? Oh my god. No, you're just speaking for me. Like I ain't got the sense to speak for myself. Right, can we Is hush that? hush? People might Is be around. At least they're not in the middle of a... A mall. A mall. Or a Taco Bell or whatever. Hey, why don't we all just... Uh, relax, huh? Relax? I'm on drugs, mofo! <laughs> Frankie says relax. I'm relax. I'm relax. He's gonna die. Oh. <laughs> you can't let him deal with his employees the way he's gonna deal with his employees. Is that what happens with the drugs that we give you? No. That's what happens when you know he took Man, look at that! Look! Nice cosplay. Don't act shocked. Yeah, he's all right. It's He'll fine. Be fine. Just a scratch. Yeah. Also, Don't... Jesse, why are you acting shocked? Well, I mean, he's he's just a low-level dealer. He shouldn't have a shock. All right, you got a poker face. Anyways, shopping spree, <laughs> tiaras. That's the biz you're getting into, guys. I feel like Walt should be wearing like a fitted black suit with his hat. Yeah, definitely. He's wearing the wrong outfit. Give him time. He'll be upgrading. He just has to go out and buy one, you know? It's a black box. That's so random. I know. <laughs> like, what? what a shame, man. Why is, why is the show got to end? Hmm? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to end like that. That, for me, was quite a calm episode. Am, am I just, like, desensitised to things I watch on TV now? I think that... because Game of Thrones was very much, like, big cliffhanger at the end of an episode. Yeah, that's like, all right, okay, beat the guy up because he was like, know who you work for. And it's like, yo, subordinate. <laughs> okay, I do the talking here, not you. That's so what I do guy, all my employees, you know, man. Speak, guy, out, speak out of turn, I'll beat the fuck out of you. Yeah, you kind of deserve to get a, a beat down on mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. Well, it's kind of weird, isn't Normally it? Normally I would just go for a, a pistol whip, just one, just right in the side of the head. <laughs> you don't want to hurt your knuckles. That's why you got no friends. Do you know how easy it is to break that pinky? No. Not four times. You think you're a hard man, don't you? No, it's so it's sore. Stop saying the F word. The F word equals limited man. <laughs> the magnolia man. The magnolia man, okay? It's the one thing. And I don't care what anybody says. We have had so much issue with saying... So much issue. <laughs> so, I didn't say it like that. We but have had so, so much issue. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because so many, of you saying the F word. So many issues. So much issue. <laughs> so much issue. <laughs> Rush hour. <laughs> Rush hour. <laughs> oh, I got a bullet with my bare hand. Yeah. Oh. So that is it. That is the end of season, season one. one. The season that everybody says is very slow. My roundup from season one. Ooh. It's been nice to get to know the characters. Oh yeah, it's been very character-buildery. Yeah, I feel slow. like I know 
who everyone is like very deep down Mm -hmm. for each of the characters and that makes it exciting Mm -hmm. you know you can't really compare this show to game of thrones but i can i can compare kind of like reaction stuff with game of thrones there were so many people to remember and to get to know so for breaking bad it's nice to have a small knit family Mm -hmm. Even with Game of Thrones, it just kind of like the the book. Sorry, it just kind of throws the characters at you. Yeah. You don't really get to, like, I'm about three quarters of the way through the first book now, and you don't really get to know each of the characters. It's just sort of like, eh, character. Yeah, this is very deep, mm-hmm. and I really, really like that. Like when I'm trying to think about the sister, like, what's your motive here other than a thrill? You know, I don't like that. I think that is just a thrill. That. Is there something? more deep down in their relationship because they don't have kids which i Mm. thought based on episode one she was being quite snotty Mm. to her sister about i wonder if that's something that'll come up a little bit later on maybe there is jealousy there from Mm. one sister to another like i I guess with with her husband being like a an atf agent maybe it's like even more exciting for her yeah, exactly. Like, is he going to come put the handcuffs on me? Whee, whee! <laughs> well, she's in there. Yeah. So that was good. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, hope you guys are enjoying our second show at the moment, which is called... What? Breaking Bad? No. What? What's, what's the weekly show called? Breaking Bad? What's the weekly show called? The new one. Wait, is that out by the time this yes. goes live? Oh, Shogun. Shogun. How did you not know that? You've been watching it. <laughs> <laughs> We're filming this before that, by the way. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying our Breaking Bad as scheduled and our new show, which is once a week. Yeah, and that's based on a book as well. That and apparently what? was huge. And I don't that's, know if anyone um, had it, but I've never seen it. Nothing is going to get in the way of our Breaking Bad schedule. So if you see any other shows like once a week, like don't panic. I think it's good for us to do new shows that interest us, like weekly stuff I think as so. well. So and to all the people from my comment in season one, where I was like, oh, "I'm over it already." I was just sad. Okay, I was loving Game of Thrones. I love Breaking Bad. I think it's great. I think it's a breath of fresh air from my brain. That's the right answer. Yeah. It is. It's a breath of fresh air from my brain. Yeah, it's nice not to have to... Overthink. Overthink every single different conversation because of the political implications and stuff like that. Yeah, so it is nice. Also, back to my Breaking Bad, my Breaking Bad, my Game of Thrones book thing. Once again, the character, um, they talked about her... Daenerys. I wasn't talking about it. I wasn't saying the names. I'm trying not to talk about it in case these people haven't seen you. You already said it before. No, I didn't. Okay. Anyway, there's Daenerys placed something. She's 14 at this point in the book. She placed something between her belly and her breasts. But instead of saying she placed it between her belly and her bosom, it said she placed it between her belly and her small, supple breasts. Which, once again, like if you're following along with the thread of... The, the book's written by a, a creepy weirdo. Uh, yeah, that I was like, I was like, you don't need to describe a 14 year old. You could have just said bosom. You don't need to describe her breast as being small and supple. Like, it's just, uh, I don't know, man. It just hits me with the creeps. Anyway, that's the, the latest he's, update uh, on Game of Thrones. He's got a dagger up his butt. I mean, I've got a dagger up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you in season two. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace out, peaches. Yeah.